welcome back to my channel and um, today we have Ben's Aldi shop and we're now in lockdown three week two so I'll just go through what is bought and also what I'm sort of planning to do with it in the coming week and I've tried to organize it a little bit better this week so bear with me so we'll start off with the fresh stuff We've got some semi-skim milk for Ben and Holly, some unsweetened soya for me. Last week he couldn't get any turkey mints, so he's picked some up this week. And this is the turkey mint 7% fat, so I'm just going to pop that in the freezer. We've got some of the 20% beef mints. I'm going to make that into a meat loaf. We always like anything with a red sticker, so there's four breaded fish fillets, and I think they were £1.50 for four, looking at the receipt, so that's really good, so I'll just put those in the freezer. Got some of the nice banana and custard yogurts for me, some apples for Holly. You can tell Ben has been shopping because there's a lot more Ben-orientated food. Fat-free yogurt for me, uh, we've got some grapes and spring onions, and some soft cheese that I can either put in a pasta sauce um, or make some cheesecake out of, I was thinking. I've got some, a double pack of smoked bacon and some grated cheese because the date on that is so good. We just have it in and then you can do all sorts with it. Either put it in something that I'm cooking or have it on toast. We'll move on to the frozen stuff. So we've got some frozen blueberries this week to go in my breakfast. Got some chicken breast fillets. I think we've got 900 grams in here or a kilogram. A kilogram for £3.50, which works out cheaper than the fresh stuff. Um, we're going to have that in a coconut peanut butter sort of curry on Saturday night. We've got some of the extra special goose fat potatoes and the chunky oven chips. Always good to have those in as a bit of a standby. Some mashed potato. Yeah, I have to confess, I don't make my own mashed potato. Sorry. Um, some groovy biscuits, which I think should have been on the other side, but they've snuck in there. Friday night is going to be pizza night. So we've got a garlic bread with cheese. We've got a stuffed crust, double pepperoni, and a ham and pineapple for Holly got some of the breakfast pâtés there, really nice if you want to make like a McDonald's McMuffin. Some chunky cod fillets, some chicken goujons, we had these in some wraps last weekend, it was really, really nice. Some fried chicken steaks and then we move on to Ben's puddings. Got some white chocolate, I don't even know what they're actually called, are they just called white chocolate? I would call them white chocolate magnums, but obviously they're not. An apple strudel, strawberry swirl cheesecake, and an apple pie. Ben was obviously feeling in a dessert mood when he went shopping. So I've put the rest on the table, so if you bear with me. And on the receipts, it was quite an expensive shop this week. It was £96.09p. and but there are 105 items on there and I'll just point out some of the more expensive items as we go round. So we've got breakfast cereals again, we've got some muesli for me, some apple and blueberry oats, frosted flakes and some crisp rice. I'm going to make some like um, rice crispy squares. Got some cheesy puffs, sea salt, chardonnay vinegar crisps, uh, just a multi-pack bag of crisps, some sweetener, that's mine, and 10 eggs. We did get, I think there was eight bottles of lemonade accounted, so obviously we've just put two on the table. Don't want to bore you with all that. We've got some Mr Muscle, a double pack, and I think we can the receipt, this was 5 99 or oh, $6.99, it was quite expensive, $5.99, and there's, there's obviously a double pack there. Some cotton buds, some black bin bags, Holly wanted one of these. I don't know what flavour it was, I think it was the little um, foxes that's 
um, I thought was really cute when I had a look on the Aldi website. Got some fabric softener, some deodorant for me and Ben. Got some coffee. Got some um, just everyday essentials, white chocolate and milk chocolate for the Rice Krispie Squares. Some tea. We've got a variety of tins of soup, some tomato, vegetable, minestrone. We've been really enjoying soup at lunchtime. It just makes a bit of a change from a sandwich. A couple of tins of peeled plum tomatoes. Some hot dogs. It's quite a good sort of quick and easy lunch. Some Nutella. Nutella substitute, I should call it. Aldi. Nico, nut, nut ochre. Just call it Nutella, it's a lot easier to say. Um, that is going in the Rice Krispie Squares as well. Coconut milk that's going in the curry. Um, a couple of sort of snacky tree items, the sort of millionaire shortbread, the wacko biscuits. Okay, we've got some wraps either just to have as a wrap or to toast them. Got some sultanas to go in my porridge, some rice to go with the curry. Got some sun-dried tomato and garlic couscous and a lemon and coriander. They're always good to sort of use if I'm doing like um, a slow cooker, almost like a stew, you can put the couscous in to thicken it up, uh, which works really well. He's got some bread, we've just got a plain white loaf there. I don't think you could find any tea cakes, so he's substituted with the fruit loaf. Some part baked baguettes that you can have with soup, or my favourite, a baked camembert. Um, he's got some Christmas chocolatey biscuits just in case. Always good to have a pack of emergency biscuits. And that's our lot this week. It does seem quite expensive, but we have got quite a lot of meat, and obviously, we've got the um, sink on blockers, we've got the sort of deodorants. Um, so I think £96 for 106 items is really good. So meal wise, I'm going to do the chicken curry, the meatloaf, we've got the ham joint that we didn't eat last week so we're going to have that as a Sunday roast. I say I will freeze the, the fish fillets but we can always defrost two of those because there's four in there I'll probably put it in the freezer as two and two. Um, just because then you're not defrosting four if you only actually need two. I can't remember what the other thing was I was going to make. I think that was it for this week. So I hope you've enjoyed Ben's Aldi food haul and I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.